Hi, this is Misha. And I just wanted to make a quick announcement. We have some news, and this is kind of a sneak peek, and we'll, we'll do full reviews on it. In my hands, I've got my trusty Polish Archer. This is made at the Fabriki Brunny, the FB Radom factory. And I also brought out a kit build I have. This is built from an original 1968 Polish AKM parts kit. And the reason I have these out is we have some kind of exciting news. There is a new importer for FB products in the USA. Arms of America, who has previously brought in the FB barrels, the 16-inch coal hammer forge chrome line barrels used in this build and others, is now importing a line of accessories and parts made at the actual true FB factory, formerly Circle 11. Arms of America is the exclusive importer and distributor and also Atlantic Firearms will be essentially the exclusive distributor and they're going to use these parts. They're not going to be selling the parts actually on their website but they are going to be using them in builds of their guns. So you're going to see genuine FB parts at Arms of America and featured on Atlantic Firearms rifles. So just real quickly we wanted to do this video to let folks know there was a lot of disappointment when Radom USA failed but now there's some there's some hope. To begin with Arms of America is going to bring over parts such as more buttstocks they're also offering this ergonomic pistol grip. This is for the burial, but it'll fit most AKs. They're also doing the aluminum, the metal quad rail handguard system, which will fit both the burial and also the tantal, complete with the QD grip. They will be importing the scope mount. In fact, they already have those and that would match up well with the uh, WBP kits that they sell that have the front and rear uh, lugs for them. We have a video on one of those. They will also be doing the extended safety here, which is really good for people with the older IO guns where they have the quote unquote bolt hold open cut out. Now you can actually get an unmolested, ungoobered with safety for your archer. These will also fit on tantals. And they'll be selling the FB extended paddle magazine release. And this is just what they're starting off with. And most importantly to a lot of you, they are offering the Bereal magazines. These will be new modern production, the translucent green 30 round type and they're going to be retailing for $35. Not only will these 223.556 mags fit the Archer, they will also work in the majority of Segas and Vepers out there, and they will fit in other 223s such as the Arsenal SLR 106, although a little bit loosely. These are very good mags and this is really the big thing because people have been wanting new Burial mags for a long time. So that's, if nothing else, pretty exciting. We will have uh, full reviews and more to talk about in the upcoming weeks. For this week, though, we're going to take a little break, guys. We've been putting out a lot of videos recently. We tried to cover some new stuff. We have some new uh, new guns to show you that we're going to be reviewing come, come March. So you, you'll bear with us. We're going to take a few days off. And also check out Arms of America's page for the line of FB parts and accessories they're carrying. I asked them about the potential for firearms because I knew most would, would be interested. And they said right now the FB factory is very busy still fulfilling a current military contract. But they are interested in doing business with the American market. So the future is wide open. And uh, they're hoping to expand the product line. So I, I'm not saying that firearms, you know, like a pistol or a carbine are coming, but I am saying it's not out of the realm of possibility. Just, you know, give them time and who knows what might happen, especially if the market holds up and 
BFB parts continue to sell well. Well, we have plenty of videos on lots of uh, Polish guns. The Archer and also some older ones like this. By the way, this gun is built from a kit from Arms of America, which built up very nicely on a Morrissey receiver. Quite happy with it. We really appreciate all the support and feedback. And If you like the video, please click like. Also, please subscribe, and if you'd like to help support us, please check out our Patreon page. This is Misha, and we'll catch you very soon after a little break. Thanks for tuning in.